Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. it's l here to do your daily reading thank you for being here thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel it means a lot please continue to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me go ahead and click that like button okay thank you for doing so let's get into it thank you god for blessing aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right let's see what is happening for the Aquarius Collective. Aquarius, don't forget to get your amethyst and black tourmaline bracelets at the website level. It's linked below. Uh, black tourmaline for protection, amethyst for love, healing. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. What's happening for Aquarius? Okay, imprisonment. All right, so you could be dealing with someone who is in jail. Okay, hopefully it's not you. There's also somebody here who manifests this imprisonment. That imprisonment may be constantly thinking of the relationship, of thinking of you. This does equate to an 11. Uh, Aquarius does uh, rule the 11th house. This could be you thinking about someone over and over again or thinking about something or feeling like you're trapped or you're stuck in uh, maybe thought, maybe physically. Uh, this also could be how someone views you. They want to trap you or they want to imprison you with them. All right, hold on. Hold up. Okay. Um, pathway. This could be a karmic connection here. There's So you have to determine is the karma good or is it bad? When you're with this person, do you feel like good things are manifesting between the two of you? Or is it all bad? Is it argument? Is it frustration? Is it drama? Is it anxiety? Is it overthinking? You know, you have to really determine that. Um, there's somebody also who could be hooked on your sex. There's somebody who wants another opportunity with you. Maybe opportunity to have sex with you to get you back hooked. Um, someone seeing that you're flying away from them or you're getting away from them or that you're fluttering or you're shuddering off or that you're doing your own thing here. Let's see what else. You had a thief. Okay, not so... These aren't great cards. Um... So it's like somebody wants to steal more of your time, more of your essence, more of you. This could be what you're doing to Aquarius. Um, it's like somebody wants to get away with something. They want to get away with taking something from you. You know, it's the the, the trick of the hand. Uh, the thief, uh, that happens in so many different ways. It's just not taking money or valuable uh, material possession from you, but it could be stealing time. The one thing that we can get back Somebody has the nerve to take it from you, right? Steal your time. Steal your energy. Steal your good idea. Your intellectual property. Maybe somebody likes hanging around you, being around you, just to get more ideas or fresh new ideas. Or they get a, a, a fresh way of thinking. Uh, their intellect is boost. Uh, or there's a boost to their intellect. Maybe they go and take this energy and share it with, you know, uh, someone else or they share it elsewhere. There is that happening, Okay. Let's see. This is also maybe somebody spying too. They see that you're doing well. You're flourishing. The bad health. Okay, so this person definitely wants to... They want to have, have sex with you. They want to get in the bed with you. Um, they want you back in that depleted place. They want you back stuck on them. It, it just reads as if, as if someone wants you back in that energy of being stuck on them. Your birthday could be on the 31st. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, also, this could be that you, um, something happened in April, you know, you realize something in April, 
you realize that somebody was with you only for sex and wanting to have sex with you. Could be a wealthy man or someone who has their, you know, they got their shit together, okay? Um, they have something to offer in terms of finances. Uh, someone could be viewing you like that. Someone could be viewing you as the wealthy man. And what they want to do is get you back stuck, hooked on them. You know, maybe by way of having sex with you. This could even be someone, you know, plotting to do like sex magic or some sex ritual or do some tricks in the bed. I don't know. But they're plotting to get you, get a hold of your resources. Could be dealing with a gold digger. Male or female. This could be you. It could be someone else. Let's see. What else? Yeah, mature woman. It could be an older woman or someone that you already know or someone that you you have history with, someone from your past with the six showing up here. We've got somebody that's married. There also could be someone that is married here or they built a lot for themselves. They're not changing. They could say that they're ch that they change or they are going to change, but they are not changing. Let's see. What else? Journey. Yeah, it's like uh, this person could be kind of far from you. You have to take a car, plane, or something like that to get to them. Some type of vehicle or um, mode of transportation to get to this person here. And it's over the road for some of you. This is also a masculine energy coming to you. They can be showing up at your house. They get want to see you. You're meeting them somewhere. Thoughts. You're definitely in their thoughts. They think about you day and night. They think about this relationship. They think about what you're doing. They think about how they dealt with you, what they didn't say to you, what they didn't do, how they didn't show up. Let's see. They think about maybe marriage with you or um, are you with someone else? Are you on the brink of getting married? Are you dating someone, you know, where there is a serious connection? Yeah, message of concern. They feel like maybe you're on your way to get married. They don't get that message that maybe you you couple or that you're engaged. Um, it's gonna really break their heart because they didn't take the time. Yeah, the privileged lady. They didn't actually take this relationship to marriage or to a more of a committed state. They played around. They played pesky, petty games with you. They kept you as an option. It, they were fr uh, they were frivolous with your heart, with your emotions. They just didn't care. They kept you again as an option. Um, this person just didn't have much to offer. All of a sudden, they're feeling some type of way about you. They're feeling like they want to be with you. Are uh, they feeling like all of a sudden you're going to get married, or you're going to get swooped up, or you're going to get coupled up? Let's see what the tarot has to say. Um, somebody's really in regret about losing you, about playing with you, about playing with the connection. They're seeing that you mean business, that you're serious, that you're on your way to getting married, you're on your way to meeting your person, you know, of your dreams, the person that you're deserving of. This person is trying to see how they can mess this up. Nine of Pentacles, they know that you're on your way. That maybe you're a single who is about to end for you. You have everything that you need. You have everything that another person could want. You check all boxes. You are a good catch. They're seeing that and they are fearful that other people will see that also. Let's see what else. Um, we got the Two of Swords. So it's, it's more so um, that you shut this person out and they're really hoping for an opportunity to reconcile or come back towards you to make an offer. Um, maybe that you would cooperate with them, agree with them. Um, the King of Wands. Also, this could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, a male Cancer. It's like someone is desiring you, maybe desiring to get you hooked back on them, get you hooked back on the relationship. Uh, they want you, you know, they want to have sex with you. They want to do things with you. They want to talk to you. They want to be around you. Um, they're holding back also. It's like um, they're wondering if they should fight for this relationship or give up with the Nine of Wands, the Justice card. They're, they're wondering if they should do the right thing, be honest with you. You know, I'll be honest, be fair, be just with you. They, they feel like they need to repay something to you. Again, this person could have taken you for granted, mistreated you, treated you unfair, and now they feel like they're karmically indebted to you. You were good to them, they were bad to you. Now, it's kind of, you know, an opposite or a reverse or displacement of feelings. Now, how you felt when you were with them in a relationship with them, you felt left out, 
you felt uh, taken for granted, you know, you felt um, maybe used, you felt like you were at a disadvantage, now they feel that way, and now you feel great, you know, they felt great in a relationship with you, and you felt all that way with them, and now it's, you know, it's the flip-flop, it's the reverse here, the magician and the knight of wands here, it's like they want to come back to you and say something to you, they try to figure out what they can say to you, what speech can they put on, what can they you possibly say to you to get you to come back to get an opportunity with you to uh, charm you here the knight of wands is a charmer is charismatic is outgoing is uh, funny is attractive you know they want to come back around and they want to make it seem as if they're going to stick around yeah they, they're trying to definitely come back to you because they see you as uh, kind-hearted sweet you know they want to work on this relationship with you they want you to change your mind here four of pentacles also um, it's like they see that you're going to be abundant or maybe even famous or have a lot of money. They want opportunity to it. Uh, they want opportunity to be with you so that they can have title to it. Also with the four of pentacles. It's like they want to possess you. They want you as a possession. They want you as a person uh, that they always have access to. They don't really want their relationship to grow. They want to stagnate their relationship. But they do want, you know, opportunity for abundance, you know. Yeah, they want opportunity for abundance. Opportunity for your abundance. Uh, the Hierophant and the Three of Swords. This person is learning a tough lesson, you know, by way of the universe. Um, they're learning a tough lesson that maybe you were the one or you are the one. You were that like-minded individual that they prayed for, but they fumbled the relationship with the Three of Swords. I and mean, they're really upset with themselves. They're really upset with themselves that they couldn't make the decision to come out of a lifestyle or come out of a relationship or divorce something. They couldn't let it go. They wanted both. They wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. You know, it's just more so this person wanted to stay in a place of confusion, low vibration. You now they're learning something, but they've learned the true nature of the relationship here. It's like the universe was trying to bring you two together. And it's like you you ascended, you know, uh, faster, quicker than they did. And they just chose to stay. It's like this person wants opportunity. Another opportunity to try to persuade you to not go. Um, it's like they want to do something big to pull you back in and reel you in. Um, they may even, this is, they could even want to just string you along. You know, um, they don't want to see you move on. They want to see you flourish or grow with someone else or, you know, um, in regards to another relationship. Uh, let's see what these cards have to tell you, Aquarius. Is there, okay, I'm hearing for some of you, you want to know, is there new love coming in? Is there new love coming in for the Aquarius? Is there new love coming in for the Aquarius? The single Aquarius ready for a relationship is there new love coming in for new queries the nine of cards the best card in the deck one of the best cards yes what you're hoping wishing praying for is coming to you wow new person stirs your romantic feelings page of cups new person um they're gonna be romantic or you know they they're gonna take you out date you court you they're gonna find that you're beautiful funny six of cups this could be a soulmate. Very nice. Everything that you hope for. It's going to be a lot of likeness between the two of you. Could be uh, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anyone here. Okay. Um, doesn't have to be a water sign. It's just more so the vibration that you'll feel when you meet them. Um, this is somebody where, you know, you can be yourself with them. It's going to be simple or simpler times will happen for you. You'll be able to communicate your emotions, you know, more effectively. Um, there'll be balance here. Whoa, three of cups, nothing but cups. You'll be able to date them. You know, it could go somewhere. You'll be, something could actually transpire between the two. The queen of cups. You can be ready for this, Aquarius. Very much ready for this. Um, yeah. And this other person is coming around and they're trying to figure out ways that they can, you know, manipulate you and pull you back in because they know and they feel the vibration that you're ready for something. True. I think you're dealing with them differently now. If you are in communication with this person, then you're dealing with them in a way that you've never dealt with them. Maybe it was always tit for tat. It was the argument. It was the, the banter, the playful banter, the going back and forth. And maybe you're not doing that. You're very 
you know, official with them. You say what you need, you say what you want to say, and you move on. It's not lingering energy. It's not, oh, well, what do you do? And what do you have on? And, you know, it's it's none of that. It's more so, hey, you know, blah, 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 whatever. I don't know if you have any dealings or ties to this person. And you still have to communicate with them, whether it's children or, you know, it's physical assets where you have to communicate with this person for whatever reason. But it's very professional. It's very official. So you're being very official in terms of dealing with this person. So they're really feeling that vibration that something is different with you it's different in how you deal with them you're not you're not doing what you used to do you're not giving also there's someone not bending here it looks like you're going to meet a very high level soulmate the sex could be really good here okay um coming out of that place of you know being in a relationship where you just didn't know where it was going and you just kept showing up for the connection um you're coming out of that all right um and this other person is going to be jealous you're going to be subject of gossip and they're going to be spying on you because you're really relinquishing them, letting it go, forgiving them, like absolving them of all the shit that they did. You know, it's just more so, you know, be blessed that way. Um, be blessed and be gone. And they're going to be in a place of stagnation and um, overthinking and constantly thinking about you and hoping and wishing that you would reach out to them. Um they would even be willing to have some type of secret relationship with you. You know, like you, they would know that you would have a person and they would be willing to be your side guy or your side girl because, you know, they just want access to you again. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, this person is not in a good place. They see that you're, they're really trying to manifest an opportunity to have sex with you. They feel like if I could just have sex with the Aquarius again, they don't get them back hooked on me. I can reverse, you know. I can have reversal, you know, um, in how they're dealing with me. So be cautious of that. Be cautious of having sex with um, said individual. Let's leave you with um, a bit of advice from these cards here. What's going on for the Aquarius? Uh, what's the advice here moving forward for the Aquarius? Okay, what's the advice moving forward? Okay. Putting others before the relationship. Okay, so that's what they were doing. Well, you need to do that in terms of this person. Put everybody else before this person. Be rational. And they're seeing that you're being rational and you're having growth within yourself. Like you're not, you know, focused on, one. you know, pettiness, drama. Um, okay, advice here. Ooh, we're dealing with them very business like. Okay. And you're not listening to anything that they say. You're not really feeding into that anymore. You know that they say anything. Um, so it just doesn't matter. Um, sex with my friends. Um, maybe you find out that someone has sex with a friend or with, you know, your friend. Or they want to have, like, this sex-only relationship. Or they want to have, you know, friends with benefits. Or they could want to still be your friend and have sex with you at, at times. Um, Aquarius is saying, don't listen to their promises. They're just bored with their life. Keep them as a friend. Um, they mean you no good. You know, um, they're just stuck on you and they will forever keep you in that side chick, side dude role forever, ever. You know, they want to come out of not talking to you. Um, but but this is who they are. Con artist, a con man, con woman, a fraud, a liar. Um, yeah, you, you, you have to understand that if you allow this to come back into your life, it's going to cost you a lot. You know. It's going to cost you all of the, the work that you've done on yourself in, in terms of moving forward. Just count that all out. Throw it out the window if you decide to go back to this. So this is what uh, the cards have to tell you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, let me know what part resonates for you. Is it that somebody is a, a con artist, a liar? Um, and if you are trying to manifest new love here, and we saw that new love is coming in, um, put some hearts down there in the comment section. Let's manifest together. Let's bring in this new love, this new vibration. Encourage each other, you know, and put some hearts down there in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, come learn the tarot with me. Get your bracelets at the website level, especially if you're trying to pre be protected from a person and heal. Um, get your black tourmaline and amethyst bracelets, all right? 
Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.